All right, all right, all right. Shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praises going on to two. Yahweh, by some, Yahweh, by some, Rakaki Dodge, the bonds to apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much respect to you, brothers out there. This priest is word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The tabernacle of David, the hopeful elect, the speckled bird. I want to say shalom. Let's get into it. A nice, nice day to be out here again, prophesying the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. All right. So let's all praise this gal by some outside. So, the other day, you had the what they'll call in the news, the black militia, the no effing around group that came out the other day. And um, I don't know how much, how am I going to structure this video yet. I may put, um, it may be like a separate lesson or a separate video where I'll show the uh, photos. I'm not sure how I'm gonna, how I'm going to situate the video, but anyways, they came out the other day and uh, what you'll see in the video is uh, you'll have some dudes that know that there is lights in that group, in that black militia, what they'll call the black militia. And uh, it just goes to show you, you know, the simple believe every word, the simple is gonna be fooled by these fools out there, man. You see, what they're going to try to do is, which may end up happening is, they're going to look at that group and they're going to blame everything on the prophets, the ones that's out there risking their lives, risking their freedoms to come out here, preach the word, and help seal the elect, for the elect to be waking up so we can get the heck up out of here. You see, they're going to look at that black militia group, like, oh man, they're coming out there with the guns. Hey, this is how all Hebrew Israelites act. That's how they're going to do it. Or that may be one way that they're going to do it. Okay? You see, this is Esau Edom's kingdom. This is Esau Edom's world. You can't do everything that he can do. See, the Lord's the one that set him up. He does not bear the sword in vain. You see, we made a covenant with our power, Yahweh by Sumer outside. We didn't keep our side of the covenant. So that's why you see our people getting jacked up. And so now with this no effing around group they trying to take matters in their own hands or what they presume is to take matters in their own hands because at the end of the day the deceived and the deceiver is both the lords okay so this is just the lord's movie so you got to have dudes on the left hand side believing what they're doing is the right thing but you have grandmaster jay you know who's who's nothing but a judas goat all right who's going to lead the sheep to the slaughter. And that's why we don't look up to that group. That's why we don't follow that group, all right? And so for the Israelites that's in that uh, uh, camp, A, that know they're Israelites, they're going to be wiped out. They're going to be destroyed, all right? So we're out here to give you the uh, true edification and let you know what's, what's really going on, all right? Because you have other people that will see that, see a whole peop, a bunch of people grouping up together and be like, man, that's that's dope. No, nah, man, that's, that's not dope. The Lord ain't dealing with those people, okay? Now I got my notes here so I can stay on track because I know me, I get one scripture and I end up going to another scripture and I may end up going off the rails. So the Lord willing, I stay on track. So let's go ahead and get some scriptures. Because we're not supposed to follow a multitude that's doing evil. And that's what the multitude is. That's what they're doing. Calling themselves black of color. Oh, I'm black and I'm proud. Nigga, you dumb as hell. To be proud as hell to be calling yourself a color, man. You can like it or not. But the Lord sent out his prophets out there to warn the ones that are supposed to get this word. They're supposed to get this truth. 
and they're going to take that reproof and then they're going to get built up before the rest of them you know that's that's the problem with this world man you can't reprove people you can't tell them that they're going off without them going in the pansy getting the hurt this is exodus 23 and verse 2 Let me go ahead and highlight that. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in the cause to decline after many to rest with judgment. All right? You're not supposed to follow a multitude to do evil. And that's where our people, you go on social media, Instagram, whatever, man. Got the people lifting up their fists. Oh, man, I'm proud to be part of this. Yeah, we, we doing something, man. You ain't doing nothing, man. It's Esau Edom's kingdom. This man got the military. This man has been given the blessing of the sword. You know what, uh, so cold? Man, if this man wanted to, he can get a drone strike and bomb out that whole area with all your Negroes in it. Matter of fact, you just had people the other day getting shot or, or injured the other day when they uh, came through. Man, all this stuff that you see, man, it's, it's all a setup, man. It's pretty much what it's boiled down to. Lord has the elect. So his elect is gonna be on this side and, and the two thirds are gonna be on this side, man. And from the video that I got it from, it's from a brother that knows he's in the truth. That knows that he's an Israelite. But he's so down with it, man. He's down with those Israelites. All right? Israelites, oh, man, this, this is a great movement. See our people out here. Yeah. You don't know the truth, man. You don't know the Bible, man. You carnally minded, and you're going to be destroyed for being carnally minded. Okay? You know? Because I got the video from him because uh, I met him, once say, a couple months ago. It was, like, cold outside or whatever. I think it was like round with um, when the COVID-19 started really hitting. That's when I met the brother out there on the streets preaching the word. He was a bus driver. And, um, you know, he got his fringes on while he's driving the bus and all that stuff. But, um, you know, it just goes to show you just because you know it is, just because that you know that you're Israelite doesn't mean that you're going to get the heck up out of here, man. If you're down with that group, you think that what they're doing is, is something nice, something amazing? You're deceived, all right? You're one of the Israelites that's on the left-hand side that don't know what the hell is going on. You know that you're an Israelite, but you don't know what the hell is going on. That's a, uh, hey, that's why we pray to Yahweh by some outside that he directs our path. We go through the straight and narrow. Because everybody else, they ain't going to go through the straight and narrow. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that, all right? You're not going to go through that straight and narrow. You're going to follow that multitude to do evil. But us over here, we're going to go through that straight and narrow. We're going to warn our people and let them know what's up. Whether you like it or not. Because that's the word. Matter of fact, um, since I'm in Isaiah, let's go to the uh, uh, one in Isaiah. And let our people know what's up. Okay? Isaiah 58 and 1, the classic, man. One of the first scriptures that you, sh that you should know coming into um, this truth, to this knowledge. Okay? Hmm. It's like you. Wind and blue. So bear with me. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we're doing. Out there on the highways of byways, preaching his word. Was Grandmaster Jay doing that? No. He came out of nowhere, man. He came up out of nowhere. No works. Got a bald face. Got a bald head. And trying to align himself with the Israelites. You ain't with us, man. You against us. You're, you're a Judas goat. And you're going to be destroyed in these last days. You made a covenant with death. And that covenant with death is not going to save you, all right? You're getting that check. 
Trying to look like you somebody, man. You ain't nobody, man. You ain't nobody. You're going to be destroyed, man. And everybody else that's following that nigga is going to be destroyed with him. Okay? Getting that corruptible crown on this side of the earth. Your riches, your glory, your fame. That's not going to profit you not in the day of wrath. Let's go to let's go to that. All right. It's Proverbs 11 and 4. It's Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver it from death. Your riches, your glory, that covenant with death is not going to profit you. But the ones that follow you out by Shema Shai wholeheartedly know the truth, know his name, and endure to the end, they're going to be delivered in these last days. But for the rest of you niggas, y'all go ahead and follow that nigga, man. Matter of fact, I was talking to my uncle the other day, man. He was like, why you, why are you putting down this man? He, he ain't made no covenant with them. <laughs> he ain't bought and paid for. I'm like, go look at him, man. Go look him up. Dude is bought and paid for. Man, he, he's just trying to make awareness for our people to arm themselves. All right, all right. There's nothing wrong with protecting yourself. But if you think your guns, your knives, your swords, your shields is going to save you in this day, it's not. All right, that's being carnal. Once again, I'm going to preference that there's nothing wrong with having protection, okay? But if you think your protection, your guns, your swords, your knives, all that's going to save you in these last days, no, man. What's going to save you in these last days is humbling down, listening to the prophets, and going out there to the highways and byways, if you call, okay, and endure to the end, praying to the Lord, praying that the Lord keeps you in these last days, and that's what's going to deliver you from death, okay? Because the Lord is going to do something spectacular in these last days, man. Men are going to get their spiritual power in these last days. Men are going to wreak havoc in these last days on Esau Edom's world man because this is his world this is not our rest that's what you wicked ass negroes don't understand this is not your rest it's not this place is going to be destroyed with thermal nuclear fire by icbm missiles man this place ain't your rest this place may come out with the new greatest phone the new greatest house new greatest car you know got some badass cars out there but guess what all that's gonna pass away, but the kingdom of heaven, which for the Israelites, it's gonna last forever, 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 man. But you niggas, you you ain't been given the eyes to see it, man. For us over here, we got the eyes to see it. You know, I'm kind of heated because I'm like, man, you know, that's my uncle, man. I love him. But when I was having a conversation with him, you know, he said he's gonna come up here with, with dialogue. We'll chop it up. He's like, you don't bring down another black man. To hell, what did I just read in Isaiah 58 and 1? Cry aloud, spare not. Look at that voice like a trumpet. Show my people their sins, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Show my people their sins. Part of true love is showing our people where they're going off. That's true love, man. You're going off and not going according to the world. Uh, it's like you're to the word. You going off, all right? And uh, the problem is with him, you don't want to deal with the scriptures, man. You know, it's like if, if the Bible is all you got, you know, you you ain't got nothing. You know, roughly paraphrasing what he's saying, you ain't got no true knowledge. Well, matter of fact, let's go to like where where's your other books? Where your other knowledge, man? Pretty much what he was saying. Nah, man, I don't need all those other books. Now, granted, other books that align with the Bible, with history, we can't use. Like the Bible, the Zondervan Bible Dictionary, Babylon, the Timbuktu, you know, showing that our people fled into Africa in 70 AD, 70 AD because of Roman persecution. Yeah, we can use some of those books, okay? The 13 tribes, we can use some of those books. But nothing is going to compare to this word. 
All right? If you don't know this word, you don't know nothing, man. It's Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than chose silver? Okay, this wisdom is greater than gold. And guess what? The men of the Lord in these last days are going to be... <laughs> Man, they're going to be more precious than fine gold, man. The elect men of this world, in, the, in, this, in this truth, I should say, the elect men in this truth are going to be more precious than fine gold. All right? Because right now we're, we're at the bottom, man. We're looked down upon. Some brothers got their woman, you know, they're talking down to them, looking down at, down at them. You know, they got baby mama issues, right? Got all these issues. Well, guess what? In these last days, the Lord's going to lift up that standard. And that standard is going to be one to confound Esau Edom. And who's really going to confound Esau Edom? Yeah, I was shining them angels, the elect, them ICBM missiles, man. You hear Esau Edom, he's scared as hell. He is scared as hell, man. He want that Space Force up. In mid 2020, which is practically, hey, practically here. He wants it up now, man. He saw Enum is scared, and y'all can't see that. They posting up the videos, the photos of the chariots of the Lord, because they see them bigger than the whole earth. Thinking they they gonna fight it, right? But the Lord is so cold with it, He's gonna put that spirit upon them, and they gonna fight, and they gonna be destroyed, man. So us over here, we ain't got to join that black militia group. Matter of fact, if you join, you bugged out and you're going to be destroyed, man. It's like with his fringe is on, wearing all black and he's got his gun out like that, man. Like he's somebody carnal as hell and you're going to be destroyed for being carnal as hell, man. You're going to be destroyed for that. All right, because we ain't supposed to follow a multitude to do evil. All right, um... I'm gonna get a couple more scriptures um, to go with what my uncle said, and then I'm gonna get back on track <laughs> with the black militia group. Okay, uh, so this wisdom is more precious than fine gold. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Uh, let's go to wisdom of Solomon. Matter of fact, let's go to since I'm in Ecclesiastes. Uh, let me see what it was. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was um, might be Proverbs. Might be Proverbs. Give me one second. While I'll turn to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This goes goes great with my with my uncle man i love you to death man but hey the ones that follow you how about you outside that's that's your one true family man all right that's just how the lord set it up your friends your family members you know a lot of times they don't have that respect for for you because they seen you grow up they seen you go through changes they see you go through these phases and now that they see you in the truth they're like oh man it's, it's just another phase that he's going through it's just another phase. No, man, this, hey, this is the last phase that I'm going through. <laughs> and this is the one true phase, because now I have the truth. Now I got the wisdom. Now I got the knowledge. Now I know how to walk uprightly. Now I know how to please the Lord. Now I know the Lord's name. Now I know how to call upon the Lord, all right? So this goes for the people, the wicked of our people that don't want to hear the word, that reject this word. Well, this is what's up. This is Proverbs 13 and 13. Whosoever despises the word, he despises the man of the Lord, he despises the teaching of this Bible, saying that the Bible is a so-called white man's book, without actually sitting down, being humble, and listening to the prophets, and seeing that, hey, this Bible ain't no so-called white man's book. It's quite the contrary. This is our book, okay? Whosoever despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandments shall be rewarded. All right, the ones that follow the Yahweh Shemashah wholeheartedly until the end are going to be rewarded. 
but the ones that despise his word, hey, they're going to be rewarded with death. Okay? Verse 14. The law of the wise is fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Okay? This law keeps you in good grace with y'all by smell side. Okay? When you, when you realize, hey, I, I was going off, you turn to the Lord and you repent. Okay? You get reproved. You see, we're living in the time, we're living in a world where you can't reprove your people. All right? You can't tell them that they're the Israelites without them bucking up to you. You know? My uncle was proud as hell to call himself a black man. Well, you know what? My people is proud, proud as hell to call themselves that. Yeah, you are black. Void of light, void of knowledge. Okay? You don't understand what's going on, man. And that goes with um, Proverbs 13 and 14 goes with uh, um, Baruch 4 and 1. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that. So bear with me. Alright, so this is Baruch 4 and 1. This is the commandments. It's like this is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All they that try to please Yahweh by Shema Shah by keeping his law are going to be rewarded. All they that don't, they're going to be rewarded with death, that death by pain. Alright, so now to get back on track. Alright. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get uh, one more in uh, Ecclesiastes and we'll get back on track, okay? So this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. And further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end. And much study is the awareness of flesh, okay? So you think all the books that you're studying and you're not studying the Bible, hey, it's going to amount to nothing, man. Okay? So getting back to, um, getting back on track, let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans 8 and let's see where I want to start at. And 6. All right? for you carnally minded fools out there that think your guns and all that stuff is, is going to save you in these last days. It's not, man. You don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim outside covering you. You through, man. So this is uh, Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You hear that? But to be spiritually it's like it, y'all. <laughs> And have my stuff flying away. But it said, but to be spiritually minded is uh, life and peace. Let's make sure. Gotta go right back to it. So bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna read it again. This is uh, Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right. Hey, how's it going, brother? Great, and yourself? I'm doing pretty good. You mind if I just listen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard about the Israelites or? No. Exactly. No, you haven't heard no, of them? No, okay, no. so I'm, I'm, I'm going to get you a rundown. So our people have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, so they come, you know, looking like everybody else, you know. But the spirit bears witness with our spirit that, you know, we're the children of power. So, you know, this word, you know, uh, speaks to you, you know, you can take it in your heart, you know, go back home, you know, look at the videos and, you know, it speaks to you, you your ears are like, okay? But um, that's that's what we out here for, you know, we're like prophesying the downfall of this kingdom, you know, about the mark of the beast or anything? I'm, I'm pretty well versed. Pretty well versed, yeah. Tell, tell me about it, what what is it? Nothing you know? I'd speak about aloud to just somebody I just met. Oh, okay, okay. Well... We telling you not to take the mark of the beast, um, you know. No up up here, we preach that it's the um, 
RFID microchip yeah. and put it in your yeah, hand. That's a no-go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it needs Don't to be a no-go. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so. A lot comes with that. Right? Yeah. Yeah, your soul. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's being destroyed, man. Just. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what we're telling people, you know, don't don't take the mark of the beast. Um, man, um, I'm trying to see where else. Um, yeah, yeah, don't take that's that. A, uh, that's a tall order. Yeah, because they, they're pushing it hard, man. Are you being recorded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you don't want to be in it, you know, you My stay back there. It. Yeah, you good, you good. I so say this is what I'm up here for, you know. Let like people know what's let me, going on. Give me a moment. Let me commune with Father. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure I'm on proper ground. <laughs> yeah. So you know, yeah. A lot of things is is moving. Um, a lot of prophecies is coming to pass. You know. You seen the um, what is it over there in Africa? The uh, locusts eating up everything. All no. this stuff. Have, have well, seen? I'm not familiar with the, the world destruction right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty so, much actually in an entirety. Yes. I mean, you can go read that in, uh, which I'll probably go ahead and get it. It's uh, Matthew 24. You know, this is just pretty much the prophecies that uh, are coming to pass, you know, right before our very eyes. Um, give me a second, I'll turn to it. I don't know how it. Well, there I do have it. I'm just uh, really getting into the book. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Matthew's Ma what? Matthew 24, you can start at uh, verse 6. Well, let me see. I'll start at verse 4, because this is the time that we're that we're living in, right before our very eyes. Oh, I've been secluded from all of this. <laughs> I'm serious. No, it's all good. That's that's why we up here. Uh, I know, but people, people are know sheltered in it. What, what, yeah. I don't understand why people have been so sheltered. Mm -hmm. If they would just find it, yeah. They, yeah. Would, they would know the truth, and that would be it. All right. Matthew 24, and I'll start at verse 4. And Jesus, which we call him Yahushai, which is, that's his name in the Hebrew. I'm just going to listen to you. All you right. Answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. All right. For many shall come in my name, saying... I am Christ and shall deceive many. That's gonna happen. You got your, um, you got Creflo Dollar. You got, you got a whole bunch of people. Let's let's just say that. I'm, I'm, I'm aware. I, I'm I've dealt with many of the factions. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of people. All right. In verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's that's happening now. You got. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Russia coming over here. Yeah, I'm and, hip. Uh, I'm hip to what Russia's doing out here. Yeah, they're like scoping out, and you got wars over there. I think you had the Chinese and some somebody else. They got into it, ended up killing each other. Um, man, it's, it's a whole bunch stuff. Whole, whole bunch of stuff that's going down right now. Well, I need to know all of it. Oh, um, let's see. You got the you got the what you call it? The trade wars with U.S. and China. All right, that's, that's, that's another type of I'm, war. I'm, hip, I'm hip to the subtleties and the yeah. nuances of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to also gear up to um, World War III, which is also prophesied in the Bible. That's when the Lord is gathering up all the nations, and then he's pretty much going to come back and uh, pretty much take them all out. He's going to rule them. So before he actually comes, that's why you're hearing of these wars and... I'll say through the midst of World War III while all the nations are fighting, which is coming very, very soon, as you see the climate of what's going on right now. Yeah, um, it's coming real quick. Yeah. Because Father wouldn't be on this earth like he is yeah. if it weren't getting close. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, it's, it's going on. He's so. pouring his spirit out over us at yeah. this point in time. Yeah, so that's why, yeah. you know, when you read Joel 3, you also, uh, Joel 2, I say, um, you know, also people's getting dreams and, you know, Oh, a lot yeah. of stuff. I, I'll have to go to that, but I'm going to finish this. All right. Mm -hmm. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. All right. It said, do not be troubled. All right. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it's wars and rumors of wars. All right. It's not we the. Got that in spades. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. You shouldn't ever apologize for anything, ever. I don't even say, I don't apologize. I say, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, the, the wind is blowing, so it, it moved me out of place. 
all right? So let's go to um, verse 7. So, For nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, all right, with the locusts out there. You're also having the food shortage now. Uh, sometimes when you go to the grocery store, it's not all stock, stocked up like it should be. Uh, the locusts over there in Africa, they're eating up everything. That's one of... I'm going to have to catch up on that. Yeah, they, they also... how fast they're moving. Yeah, they, they move it pretty fast. It's, it's, it's getting crazy out there. So you have to go home and uh, look it up. For sure. Like I said, it's getting crazy out there. So that's one of the um, prophecies. Um, and pestilence. So pestilence, that'll be this uh, COVID-19. That's, that's one of the pestilence. They also have the bubonic plague over there in uh, China. I don't know uh -uh. if you heard about that. They're hiding the bubonic on us? Yeah, yeah. Uh-uh. So whatever is happening in China, you can kind of see it's going to come over here. All right? Yeah, it is, too. So. Sure. They're just testing on their own people. At this yeah, point. yeah, they're doing that, too. <laughs> All right? So it's, it's going to it's gonna be crazy, man. Um, pestilence and earthquakes. All right, so you had in Puerto Rico, uh, I would say about two, Three months ago, Puerto Rico, they was having like earthquakes over and over again, like a hundred earthquakes a day. It, yeah. it was getting crazy down there. They've kept me sheltered so I can elevate my spirit so I can get on a level to, to fuck them around. Oh, really? Yeah, because <laughs> that's silly. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's that crazy. Is out of control. Yeah. All yeah, the way around the board. I didn't know it was that heavy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going down. Like, so you just turn on TV or, well, really YouTube, because YouTube is a huge outlet to let people know what's going on. But yeah, that's, that's going down in diverse places, okay? In uh, verse 8, and it says, all these are the beginnings of sorrow. So this is just the beginning, all right, before pretty much everything breaks loose and gets uh, crazy, crazy as can be out here. So that's our job, you know, to warn the people, like, it's going to get crazy. If you ain't got the Lord on you, um, you're going to be in bad shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy. So, um, yes, yeah, it says it's just the beginning of sorrow. So you see, well, I always hold out hope that we can fix it. Oh, uh, gets to that point. No, no, because uh, prophecy has to come to pass, and if he says it's gonna get crazy, it's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy. It's already crazy though. Yeah. We, can, we can stop yeah. now with the crazy. <laughs> we just stop now with the crazy. Yeah, he, and he we'll said. Be all right. Yeah, he said it's just the beginning of sorrow. So, yeah. you know. Um, all the rest of the prophecies came true, so. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, people, they don't have the eyes to see it, so they just walking around, you know, like everything's fine and dandy. Well, they make, they make it very comfortable. Yeah, yeah, not knowing, you know, around the corner, when you least suspect it, some things is really going to pop up like this COVID-19. You know, everything was all fine, and then, now look, everybody got wearing masks, you know, all that stuff. People dying, getting sick. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just part of the prophecy, man. It's, right. Why have I been so hopeful this whole time that it was just going to be able to be a reversible thing? No, no. That's real optimism right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. Because <laughs> I, I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. And I, I still feel like we can turn it around. But if, it, if everybody's saying it's just not going to be, no, it has to be. It's, it's, it's actually, already written. It's already written that yeah, it's, it's, it's actually going to get worse before it gets better. It's get worse before so, it gets better, folks. That's why we here. out here to, you know, warn you people. heard it here. Yeah. Sheesh. To whoever, to whoever who wants to, you know, come up and, and listen, you know, because I'm not going to beat somebody over here. Like, hey, come over here. I got a few people that would love to hear you speak. Okay, that's, that's nice. Yeah. I said, I'm here, depending on my work schedule, it can be like Saturday or Sunday, like today's Sunday. So. It's perfect. Yeah. But yeah. Um, what time? What time do you get down here? Man, it, it just depends. It can be from like 1 to 2. Yeah, that's uh, perfect time. Yeah, one or two, either Saturday or. We'll or check Sunday. down here Saturday and yeah. Sunday. Yep. My name's Kyle. Kyle. All nice right. To nice to meet you too, brother. Name's Shia. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I God. forgot. I'm more than there for walking away without. Please. please. <laughs> yeah, uh, look it up. Um, before you go, uh, look up like GMS Israelites. Um, you know, if you want to look at my channel, it don't matter, but just look it up. Um, say. Find out your ears are light age. It's all good. Good. I don't know if you want me to write it down or. Raphael. Raphael? Okay. 
Yours? Yeshaya. Yeshaya. Mm -hmm. Wonderful music. Yeshaya. Absolutely wonderful. All right. It said, uh, look it up, man. Uh, I don't know if you want to write. I already looked it up. Look it up? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, then, man. I do. Have a good one. All right. So, yeah, man, we, we just in those times. The Lord is pouring out the Spirit. You know, a lot more a lot more uh, people is coming up and uh, want to hear the word. Slag so, let me... Uh, how much time I've been recording. All right. So yeah, we just in them times, man. This word has to be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. And then the end shall come, okay? And then the end shall come. Matter of fact, since I'm in uh, Matthew 24, let's get, um, let's get, um, Like yeah, verse 14. All right. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right. So that's why you're seeing all these prophecies pop up like popcorn. That's why you see it uh, uh, get crazy as hell out here. All right. Be crazy. It's gonna get worse. Like I was telling the brother, it's, it's gonna get, it's go, before it gets uh, better, it's gonna get worse out here. Why? Because it's, uh, a kingdom is on a wicked uh, rulership, okay? So that's that's what's gonna happen, all right? But for those who wanna uh, uh, listen and get reproved, this is who it's for, all right? Hey, how's it going? Heard about the Israelites? Uh, not yet. Uh, I like to. All right. I so, heard something about them. But I don't yeah. So um, through slavery, our people are scattered across the four corners of the earth. So our people will come up looking like so-called black people, so-called Negro. Um, Mexicans, Latinos, mm -hmm. Indians, yeah. and so-called white people, you know, yeah. since our people have been scattered across the world, oh, so the world, yeah. um, we, we just out here preaching, you know, hey, come to repentance if you're Israelite, um, mm -hmm. get this truth, get this knowledge, wisdom while you can, because it's going to get crazy as hell yeah, very, very soon. That. That's, that's what you're seeing out here, you see a lot of people, of, yeah. yeah. I've seen the pictures that signs already. Yep, a lot, a lot of things is happening right before our eyes. Mm-hmm. That's it. All these uh, water pads I see, uh, I see ripping. Mm-hmm. Plagues, famines, and wounds. Yeah, it's, it's all there. All signs are there. It's even mentioned in the Bible. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all been prophesied in here to happen, and we're, we're in that time. <laughs> Genesis, the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. so yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's happening right before our eyes, you know. The people, you know, walk around like ain't nothing's, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they don't want to hear it.
like that. Just like that. Yeah. And it's, it's right. prophesied in the scriptures. That's right. It's a, it's a, all that stuff. Yeah. He is the sheep herder or the sheep. Yeah. 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 Sheep herder, provide the sheep, and what? Protect the sheep. Protect the sheep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take care. All right, dude. Have a good one. again, you know, that's, that's spiritual, man. I'm, I'm going to have to read it again. Matthew 24 and 14, okay? Because this is a clear point. Clearly shows you that you have to come out here to the highways and byways and prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. Let you know what's, what's going to come to pass. Because a lot of people have not heard this word. Now, I don't know if he's Edomite, Jake, or somebody but uh, I, I be honest I really couldn't hear the dude you know I just let him just let him talk ramble on he said a couple a couple good things here and there but I ain't, I ain't really hear him but um, you know it is what it is it's, it's where it has to go out regardless man it has to go out regardless and um you know, he, he said he said some good things, man. You know, the Lord can just send that nuclear missile and, and pretty much just wipe out everything. You know, that part he, he did know, you know. I don't know, these are angels coming up. <laughs> just people that the Lord just sending up here, man. But, you know, this word has to be go, go out to the four corners of the earth. But anyways, I'm going to give Malachi. All right. Because, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. A lot more people are starting to come up to the camp because the prophecies are, are coming to pass and people are saying, seeing that what we are saying is true. All right, starting with the apostles and the elders on down. They've been out there for years, man. I've been out here for a short time. And, um, you know, at first you'll get a couple people here and there. But it seems like lately, you know, either after camp or... or while I'm at camp, a lot more people have been coming up, okay? Uh, a lot of things is coming to pass right before our eyes, man. Uh, let's get, um, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day of coming that shall burn as the oven. All the proud, yea, all the proud that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And that day is coming very, very fast. I was talking to the brother earlier, um, you know, he got fired up, if he's an Israelite or not. And um, before it gets better, it's gonna get a lot worse out here, all right? Before it gets better, it's gonna get a lot worse out here. All right? But one of the things that's really really going to destroy this place is that nuclear missile as I just read in Malachi 4 and 1. Okay? People are going to get burnt up, man. When you read, um, give me one second, Zechariah 14 and 12, and this shall be the plague wherein with the Lord Yahweh Shema Asai will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. What's going to happen to him, Lord? 
their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. You listen to that? So while you're taking a little selfie or taking a little picture of that nuclear missile, you just stand it up. All right? And missiles gonna hit you, man. It was all funny games until it actually really happened. Okay, but the elect is gonna take heed before all this mess start happening, man. All right? But anyways, there's gonna be a famine of the word regardless, and the doors of mercy are gonna be closed. So those who are meant to get this truth are gonna get it. And those who are, are not meant to get it, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna be burnt up in these last days, man. It's like your phone's acting stupid. We go back to it. And this shall be the plague wherein with the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. You hear that? That's, that's a horrible way to go. That's a horrible way to go, man. I ain't trying to go out like that. Man, I, I, I pray to the Lord, y'all, by some outside, he beams me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up. All right? Let me see the destruction of my enemies. Okay? All right? So whether you believe it or not, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Bear with me. Like I said, phone won't act stupid. Um, let's get um, let's get Habakkuk, cause that's that's a classic right there. Habakkuk two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the, the tower and watch to see. Watch to see what he shall say unto me, and what shall I answer when I'm reproved. Okay, you get in this thing, start looking it up, and you get reproved. All right, the right people. Like I tell people to uh, look up GMS Israelites. All right, the apostles, the elders. Okay, they're not going to steer you into the wrong direction. Okay, they're not. And so you get in this thing, you get reproved. You fight off that old man, okay? Because that old man loves to sin. He does not like correction, all right? So you come into this thing and, and you fight. You fight to the very end, man. Because you know that righteousness, following your by Shema sign to the end, is well worth it. And you understand that, hey, the Lord can destroy you in an instant, man. All right? Just like those black militias, man. All right, who, who think they're doing something. Esau Edom can send that drone strike and destroy them in an instant, man. Why? Because of uh, Esau Edom, who is controlled by the Lord, Yahweh Shem Asai, does not bear the sword in vain. All right? So he moves when the Lord tells him to move. And the angels, the elect are guided by the angels, man. Guided by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Asai. The elect can see through all that bull crap, man. Okay, the elect can see that this wicked ass place has nothing for you, man. Ain't you tired? Ain't you tired of all these bills? Gotta pay for this bill, gotta pay for that bill. Alright? The water is dirty. And you got KFC trying to print out uh, 3D chicken, man. The food's fake, the people's fake, the air is fake, the water's fake. Man, I'm, tr I'm trying to get the <laughs> trying to get he the heck up out of this fake ass place, man. All right. So it's it's in your best interest to fight your flesh. All right. So the Lord can count you worthy to get beamed up in them chariots, man. And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it." read of it okay 
It's plain, man. It's plain to the elect. The elect gets this word. Apostles and elders teach it. And then, if you call to preach, you teach it. And it's plain, man. You read it. You understand these prophecies like, oh, okay, man. Those people out there that think they're going to rise up with them guns, they're going to be destroyed. All right, these prophecies have to come to pass, okay? For the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak, okay? The vision, these prophecies are, are for a point in time, man. And at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, okay? Because you got people out here that walk around like nothing's going to happen, all right? Tarrying, you know, seem like it's taking all day. Wait for it because it shall surely come, it will not tarry. Alright? The Lord said, Yeah, it may seem like it's it's taking a little little second to come. But you in that you you're you are in that time. Alright. You are in that time. Matter of fact, let's go to let's get another one. Isaiah 55 and 11. Alright. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Okay? I'm going to read it again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It's not going to return unto the Lord void. He spoke it. It's going to happen. Like I'm telling the brother, before it gets, before it gets worse, I mean, slack it before it gets better. It's gonna get worse out here, all right? But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. It's gonna prosper, all right? It's gonna happen, whether you like it or not, okay? Whether you like it or not, it's gonna happen. Matter of fact, <laughs> it's for my uncle too, man. Let's go to Romans. Let's get another classic, man. Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall the unbelief, Slakia, shall their unbelief make the faith a power without the faith? God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true and every man a liar. Okay, you don't believe this word, you don't believe these prophecies. Okay, you're going to be made a liar. The Lord is not a man that he should lie, or the Son of Man should repent. Okay? Slakia. All right, so it's going to uh, uh, come to pass, all right? Um, let's see, this is um, so many that I can get. This is Exodus, or is it Numbers? Bear with me, I'm trying to remember what it was, Numbers. That's not it. I'm trying to remember what that scripture was. Um, dang. Let's see if I can look it up. Dang. I'm trying to remember what it was. What it was. Um. It is Okay, I was in the right chapter, not the right verse. <laughs> Give me one second. That's what happens when you second guess yourself sometimes. Alright. That's my fault, y'all. It's uh, Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. Okay? 
What did we read in Romans 3 and 3? Okay. Hey, these prophecies are going to come to pass whether you like it or not. All right. Neither the Son of Man, that he should repent, have he said, and he should not do it, and have he spoken, and shall not make it good. All right. It's going to come to pass, man. Why do you like it or not? Things are going to come to pass. The Lord has a, a time where things are just going to uh, happen, man. And, um, you know, I'm just going to have to make it a separate video. That's just, what, that's just what's going to have to happen about the uh, black militia group coming up and down here. You know, but that's, that's, just, how it, that's just how it goes. Um, we go to... Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, are they protesting down there still? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. They they could be. I'm not sure. I know they've been doing it about every day, so possibly. All right, have a good day. You too. Uh, yeah, man. You know, we're up here. Um, we're spiritually protesters, man. Okay. We're going to protest the downfall of this wicked-ass kingdom. We ain't got to lift up arms. We ain't got to go out there and, um, and um, beg the so-called white man to um, give us bread, man. <laughs> we ain't got to do that. You know, the Lord is going to take care of his elect. Okay? The Lord is going to take care of his elect. Matter of fact, I haven't brought this out in a while. Let's go to, um, you know, because people, when I bring out the scripture, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times they uh, look at you crazy, you know? A lot of times they look at you crazy. Um, before I get there, let me, I don't know. All right. Give me one second. See if it's in here or not. Um, bear with me, y'all. While I look up the scripture. It's in, uh, well, since I'm here, this is Psalms. 18 and 2. Okay. I will love, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord, Yahweh Bashir on side, is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and my horn of salvation, and my high tower. Alright? And that goes with uh Psalms, uh, not Psalms, uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. Okay, let's go ahead and get that too. Because knowing his name and doing that which is pleasing unto him is one way that we're going to get the heck up out of here. Okay. All right. All right, this is Psalm, I mean, Proverbs. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Right? In that time of trouble, we're going to be calling on the Lord. You see, for those Israelites, which I expect my uncle to, who you going to be calling on when they come knocking on your door, busting through your door, or chasing you? Who you going to be calling on? The elect is going to be calling on the Lord's name. All right? Yahweh Bashim outside. Yahweh being the Father. Yahweh Shah being the Son. All right? We're going to be calling on those names in a time of trouble because he's going to keep us in these last days, man. All right? He's going to keep us in these last days. But for everybody else that believes the black, so-called black woman is God, that that woman worship, 
all right, or they believe in their own selves, hey, they're going to be confounded in these last days. Why? Because the Lord is not their strong tower. The Lord is not their strength. The Lord is not their rock, okay? They don't trust in the Lord. They don't believe in the Lord, okay? I'm going to read uh, Psalms 18 and 2 again. I would love thee, O Lord, my strength. How do you love the Lord? By keeping the law, sessions, commandments. All right? By fearing the Lord. Matter of fact, um, go to... Let's see where you at. Um, it's Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Yep, this is how you love the Lord, okay? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. All right, that's how you please the Lord. That's how He becomes your shield, your rock, your buckler, okay? You know His name, you start doing that which is pleasing unto Him. That's, that's how you that's how you please them, you know? How you please your parents, you know, when you was growing up. But doing what they uh, tell you to do, you know? Clean your room, wash the dishes, take out the trash, mow the lawn. All right, feed your dog. All right, the Lord's no different, man. He wants you to go out there and be called to feed the sheep. All right, and, and this is what we're doing. We're giving the sheep that live in water. Okay. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, my horn of salvation, and my high attire. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Hey, because we ain't, <laughs> he don't need us, man. You think about it, the Lord don't need us. But he's so great, and, and, and he sent his son, for the elect's sake, first and foremost, so we can get the heck up out of here, okay? But we got to do that, which is pleasing unto him, you know? We just got to do our role in this movie, walk the walk, talk the talk, and do it to the end, all right? Because everything that we saying up here is for your good, all right? This, this is the true living water. This is the bread that's really going to feed you, all right? So shall I be saved from my enemies. Okay, you're going to be saved from your enemies. All right? But the two-thirds, you know, they don't have the eyes to see that, man. They, they don't have the eyes to see that. They're not going to be able to see it until the very end. Let's get that in Ezekiel. Let's go to a, a, a classic in Ezekiel. As many that we can get. Um, I think I want to get 30. Alright, let's go ahead and get Ezekiel 33 and 7. So thou, son of man, I have set thee set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore thou shalt hear the words at my mouth and warn them from me. Alright? This is our job as, as a watchman, to warn our people. Let them know what's uh, coming to pass, man. Be a spiritual protester and not be a protester out there with the foolish, man. Go through that straight and narrow. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thine hand All right so he's going to die and you're going to die for not warning him All right nevertheless if thou warn the wicked of his of his way to turn from it if he do not turn from his way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul All right one of the importance of warning our people coming out here to the highways and byways is I met more people, once again, that have not heard the truth. 
Okay, this truth has to be prophesied to the four corners of the earth and then the end shall come. People have not heard the truth. People have not heard about the Israelites, man. People don't know what we're about. This is our job, man. This is our job. All right? Let's get, um... Let's get verse 30. Also, thou son of man, thy children of thy people still talk against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. Speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Okay, believe it or not, we're, it's the words of the Lord. All right, we're, we are the Lord's mouthpiece. Okay, if they come unto thee as thy people, and cometh, and they sit before thee as, as my people, and thy hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but with their heart go forth after the converse controversiness. Alright? So yeah, they, you know, this also goes back to they learned the uh, fear of the Lord from the precepts of men. Alright? But we, we, we're trying to warn you, trying to tell you what's up, what's, what's, what's going on. Yeah, it's going. Alright? Trying, trying to let you know what's what's going on, but they'll listen, but not take heed to it. All right, so that goes back to our people being stiff necked, hard headed. <laughs> that's that's just how that's just how it goes, man. You know, it's it's like a it's like a little child. You know, I know with my son. You know, I tell him. I know I know with my son. I, I tell him. Um, like, hey, man, stop. You had to tell him a couple times, like, hey, stop. And then you got to give him a whooping. Like, man, I, I ain't told you stop like three times, man. And, and you didn't and you didn't take heed to it, right? Um, verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, the one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do not do them. They hear the words, but they do not do them. It's like a little child, man. Tell them three times they don't get it. Get more whooping, man. They got to learn the hard way. All right? The difference is up here, man, we trying to warn you with the words. So you won't have to learn the hard way by getting deaf. All right? Uh, verse 33. And when this coming to pass, though it will come, just like the old uh, of these prophecies, Terry, wait for it because it shall surely come. All right. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So my cousins, uncles, all that, man, friends, family members, people that walk by that don't want to take heed to it. They're going to understand that what you've been saying was the truth. All right. They're going to learn that the hard way when they get that death by pain, man. Hey, we the difference is up here once again we trying to we trying to uh, preach the word man and I tell you man get this word while you can um, in fact there was a scripture that I wanted to get I don't know if it blew away or not uh, I had my notes that I remember so uh bear with me uh, bear with me. Uh, man. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. Then you all buy some outside for that. All right. Second, pull it up. Let's go to Acts three. Let's get verse nineteen first. 
Okay? Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repent, be converted, understand the truth, understand that you're Israelite. Stop calling yourself a so-called black man, Puerto Rican, native man, whatever, man. And start calling yourself an Israelite. Alright? That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of oppression shall come. So I get it. One second, y'all. Go ahead and get in the Bible. It's like it's slow on me. Acts 3.19, repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. For the times of oppression shall come from the presence of the Lord. And that also goes with um, Tyre 5 and 7. Okay? Pretty much turn to the Lord while you have time, man. Don't tarry, but turn it to the Lord. All right, turn to him now. All right, before you get destroyed. You know, you're sitting back relaxing and then boom, you get destroyed. All right. This is our uh, verse 23. It shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. You don't want to hear the prophets. You want to reject this word, this knowledge, this truth, this life, you're going to be destroyed, okay? If we turns up now, give me one second. So let's go to, um, second, second Chronicles. 15 and 13. All right. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever will not seek the Lord, power of Yasharala, shall be put to death. You don't seek the Lord, you're going to be put to death. Wherefore, small or great, whether man or woman, Man or woman, small or great, you're not exempt. You don't seek the Lord. That's it. You're done. You're going to be destroyed. I'm a nose. All right? For the ones that sign the cry for the abominations, how do you do that? By pleasing the Lord. All right? Call the priest. You're out there on the highways and byways. You're going to get that mark of exemption from the Lord. For the rest, they're going to <laughs> most likely... Either get the mark of the beast or, or whatever, man. All right. And, and either they take it or not, but they're not doing that which is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Hey, that's, that's it, man. They're going to be destroyed. Okay? That's why we up here now to warn you. This is what's going to come to pass. All right? This is what's going to come to pass whether you like it or not. Okay? Um... Matter of fact, let's get another one. Let's go to uh, Psalms. One nineteen and nine. I think. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, messed up on me. Alright, so this is Psalms 119 to 9. Worth, worth with all. So a young man cleanse his ways. How can he cleanse his ways? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Alright, by taking heed to the word, you get cleansed. You stop calling yourself by these by words. You uh, 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 start learning the truth, learning the true doctrine. All right, you get cleansed that way. But when you go to, dang it. But when you go to uh, John 3.19, let's go to that real quick. All right, so this is uh, John 3.19. 
And this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. All right? Because the light is out there, man. The light's shining, man. But you know, uh, uh, they don't take heed to it. You know, that's, that's, just how, that's just how it is, man. That's just how, how the Lord set things up. All right? Uh, for, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, least his deeds should be reproved. All right? So they hate the light, but the ones, you know, because before you come into this thing, you're, you're a stranger. You don't understand what's going on. But you're going to get reproved. So you may be in the darkness, but you get reproved, okay? This is, this is our part of uh, coming out here to the highways and byways, all right? You uh, uh, reprove your people. You let them know what's going on, all right? Verse 20, for everyone that doeth, that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, least his deeds should reprove. But he that doeth, he that doeth cometh to the light, and that his deeds may be manifested, that they are, are wrought in the most high. Alright? So, hey man, we telling y'all now, man, get, get this word while you can before that family of the word hits. Cause then you're gonna have people scrambling, going crazy like, hey, what's what's going on? What's, what should I do here? What's what's the next prophecy? What's gonna happen? But the family of the word is gonna hit, and uh, uh, people's not gonna know what's going on. Let me go to uh, let's go to uh, Amos eight and eleven. All right. For behold, the day has come, saith Yahweh, power. Thou will send a famine of the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So don't get it wrong. There is going to be a famine of thirst, water, and bread. But even worse, the famine of the word. Okay. And they shall run it from sea to sea, and from the north and to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. All right, because it's going to get crazy as hell, man. Well, even tonight, it's going to get crazy as hell. Get this word while you can. That family the word is going to hit. People not, people's not going to know what's going on, man. They're going to be running around like a chicken with their head cut off, man. All right. I think I'm going to call that it right now. So uh, I want to give all praises going on to two. Yahweh, Basim, Ramsad, Basim, Kaka, guys. No more so apostles and others at Great Mostone. Much respect to your brothers out there. Preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Because his word must be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. As you see, uh, uh, met some people that have not heard the word. Don't know what's going on. All right, this word must be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? Um, that's pretty much it, man. Till next time, Lord willing, shalom.